In this example, I machining over bracket, the next HSR operation is defined to perform the rough machining of the four large chamfers on the ribs of the part. In the cam tree, double click HSR R rough chamfer to open the HSR contour roughing operation dialog box. On the geometry page, click the show button. We can see here that the solid model of the target is defined for the machining geometry. Let's now exit the Show Geometry dialog box. Switching to the tool page, you'll see again that this operation uses the half-inch diameter end mill. And in switching to the Constraint Boundaries page, and by clicking the Show button in the Boundary Name section, we can see that two boundaries are picked off the edges that make up the chamfers. Let's go ahead and exit the Show Geometry dialog box again. In addition, the tool relation is set to centered, as we can see here. Now this selection specifies that the tool center should be positioned on the boundary during the machining. On the passes page, we'll see that a 50 thou step down is used and a 5 thou allowance will remain on the surfaces. Let's now click simulate to take a look at the RHSR tool path at work. Using the default HostCAD mode, set your desired simulation speed and click play. We see the tool approaches the first chamfer by profile ramping and tapers with each step down to remove the necessary material. It then rapids over to the second chamfer and performs a similar tool path. Let's also look at the simulation using Solid Verify. Click play again to view the cutting tool moving through the solid stock material. Well, that just about does it for the rough machining of angled surfaces. We can close the simulation control panel and the HSR operation dialog box with the exit buttons. Next, we'll take a look at the eye machining operations defined to perform the pockets machining.